Hey y'all, it's Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper, and I think I'm finally getting a little bit closer to my planner piece this pandemic year. Knowing that we've all been kind of recalibrating our systems, finding out what works for us, I am now working a lot at home, and so a lot of my systems have evolved to adapt to that. And getting to a point where I'm really working on some goals and taking some steps forward. So I'm going to show you my next iteration of what I am currently doing. As you might know, I am doing a weekly view in my passion planner. And I like doing this because I set it on a stand and I'm able to get a bird's eye view of my entire week and the context in which it sits, just glancing over on my desk. And I don't have to worry about carrying this around or not. Knowing that that's the layout that I have have evolved into and used the most consistently in my bullet journal spreads. In my everyday, I'm using this cover from Goldmine and Coco. Felicia is a dear friend of mine and she's amazing and I'm happy to support her by purchasing this beautiful cover where I took the rings out so I could put my Archer and Olive bullet journal. In here is my daily lists. So a lot of times I'll just, I've been really just liking the fun sticker kits these days and being able to just add a little bit of creative flair and it kind of throws me back to my scrapbook days. So a lot of these are for just my daily list and nothing really beats the ability to just turn the page and make something that I need. So whether it's just one long list for a Saturday or it's a project list being able to have the flexibility to change that on a dime is and take up as much space as I need is still really important to me. Here these days I am trying to track some things in my daily and on the left hand side of the dailies you're going to see a time chart and that's where I kind of track not my to do meetings or anything like that but the the things that I'm feeling, the things that I'm kind of eating, I'm trying to see what my energy is, where I'm feeling productive. So if I'm feeling particularly demotivated or very, very in flow, I try to note that in here. So I can kind of get a sense of my rhythm and my cycles, which has been really, really helpful as I navigate working from home. This is like the self-care sticker book from Goldmine and Coco, which just was a super fun, matchy way to do the week's lists. So anyway, those are just like my ongoing to-do lists and I kind of burn through pages that way and I don't want to keep redoing the more enduring lists. So I have this planner cover from Cloth and Paper and inside I have a half letter disc bound journal where I still bullet journal and I still have some inserts in here. But the point of this is kind of like my home base where I have enduring lists that I want to keep track of over a longer period of time and don't want to keep rewriting them as I transition from notebook to notebook. Um, in the front I have this Today dashboard from Cloth and Paper and this is where of course I still live the sticky note life and I can put some things down where oh it occurs to me stick it on here so I can process it at a later time. I've got a master to-do list for bigger projects that I want to get to, but it's not like right in front of me. This week I have to complete it. And uh, some of the bigger things that I tend to do is I, I re-gift or I sell things as I purge through the things in my house, my apartment, so then I can keep track of some of those things. So I can do it all at once so I can batch that task together. And then I've got these dividers that I have printed white text labels on with my label maker. And this first section is for goals. And uh, there's some different inserts in here, but for me to like just write down like, this is an anchoring vision of my life going forward, what makes up a good life for me? And just breaking that down into how it feels, the kinds of activities that I'm doing. And this is something that I just don't wanna rewrite over and over. So that's why that lives in here. Tracking some habits, I have to go back and I'm going to add the name of the habit and then color in the dots of the days that I did it. Uh, that's what's really great about that um, daily tracker in my bullet journal. Then I can go back and see if there's any patterns or how I'm doing with those particular habits and see which ones I need to recommit to or leave behind. These are stamps that I um, used from, I think, Everyday Explorers Co. I'll tag it in the bottom and some inserts for, from Cloth and Paper about a five-year plan, 
This one is just for work and not because I'm going to use this for work, but just because I wanted to write down what my workflow was as reference. So that's that. I'm using some of my calligraphy stamps for the tiny, tiny months because writing that small is very hard for me. And then using some colors from the Passion Planner marker set. Next tab is my maintenance tab. And here's, of course, the list of lists that I want to make. So this is where I'm going to be putting things like car care, the schedule of, you know, services I need to do for an automobile, uh, the plant care for the plants I do have. I have air, air plants, orchids, and things like that. And they all take a little bit of different care schedules and seasonal cleaning schedules. So I'll show you an example of my like cleaning breakdown and trying to batch like every day I'm doing two or three little tidying things, the things I want to do monthly and then things I want to do every six months. And I broke this down and then transferred it to some task cards that I carry with me in my everyday carry so I don't have to keep looking at this, but I do want it just as a long standing list I don't have to copy. Um, in the back here is this beautiful black insert or dashboard from Cloth and Paper. I wish you could feel this. It feels like velvet and it's super thick. That goes in there. Um, I was doing some alcohol ink on some dividers that I had on the plastic surface because anything that's non-porous you can do that on. So that was really fun. This is my wellness section where, again, I'm focusing on some goals for myself, mostly around having energy and maintaining strength. And I want my, my body not to necessarily look a certain way or to weigh a certain amount, but more so I want to be able to do things with my body. And that's my focus. And then taking some notes about going paleo and keeping these and these recipes. So keeping that in this section as I continue on that journey. And then I have my finances section, and I'm not probably going to show you all of the pages here, but just breaking down some of my recurring costs, my finances, my sinking funds. Those are the things that I'm trying to save up for over time, so I know that I'm going to be in a couple weddings in a couple years, and breaking that down over the next couple months to make sure that I'm on track, so I'm not hit in the face with those costs all at once. I'm trying to break down how much I should estimate to give as gifts. This is where I take notes on some of my financial stuff. I am looking into all the details about how to buy a home and seeing if that's something that I want to do. This is going to be a long process for me because it's very like tied with some emotional and mental things that I, I just don't automatically assume that I should buy a house. So this is going to be a really cool kind of research and exploration process. Okay. So there's a lot of things in here. I took like a financial wellness and like racial justice course. So I took notes in there. Yada, yada, yada. Wish list tracker. And then in the back, I have other lists. So here's where I'm going to put things like gifts and um, longer standing things that I don't want to copy over. Okay. Anyway, that is all what's in here. And I am really liking this so far. I know that it seems like a lot of different structures, but I don't need to reference this all the time when I'm out and about. And uh, I burn through so many other pages doing the daily list that I just wanted to be able to separate these out. This one can stay at home and then I can kind of keep this uh, in whatever order I want with the discs and uh, take out the pages when they're no longer relevant, but otherwise be able to keep it longer term. So that's kind of my system for now, and I'm really enjoying it. Of course, I'm still using a Google Calendar for my work events, but being able to reference that and then build a plan based on that has been really, really helpful. I hope this gives some clarity for you. I know I was drifting around a lot and looking at all the ways that other people were planning, buying all the things to try to replicate that system, whether it's the Moxie Life Planner and all the accessories that came with that, or all the minimal planning stuff from cloth and paper and trying to you know mimic that. Thought about rings for like two seconds and then was like, oh, hell no. But the point is, I realized that I didn't necessarily want that system. I wanted the peace that it seemed like those people were getting from that system. And frankly, 
the obvious answer is that money can't buy that. And we all have to just experiment and really think about what our needs are and what system will match that and, and deliver that result for us. And these tools are just tools and buying them does not automatically mean that they will work because we have to put in the work. So after several months of kind of drifting, this is the system I'm leaning toward and uh, I'm really liking it so far. I'll keep you updated and see what happens. But if you have any questions, let me know down below. It was a really quick run through. So if there's anything you want more questions or explanations about, just let, leave a comment. If you like it, please uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Otherwise, I just hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye.